In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply padding to the left side of HTML elements, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's apply some padding left. I'll see you there. You may have also heard of margins. Those add spacing outside of an element. So for example, we're gonna add padding to the green box. So there's more space between the text and the edge of the green box. And we will have our green box extended to accommodate the spacing, which is the padding. If we're doing margin on the left, we would actually see a gap introduced between the red and the green box. So there'd be white space between the two. With padding, there would be no white space between the two. And I'm going to show you that right now. So there's two ways to add padding. One is inline, which means we type the HTML or the CSS right into the HTML code, which I'm going to show you first. The other is using a style block or a style sheet for the CSS instructions. And I'm going to show you that second. So we click into the div element that is the green box, which is box two, and we type in style equals open and close quotes. And we type in our CSS property, which is padding left. And the value for that, we're gonna have 50 pixels, semicolon, save the file, refresh this page, and we've added 50 pixels to the left of that box. And that's really all there is to adding padding to an element. It's really quite easy, quite straightforward. Uh, but currently this instruction, the CSS instruction is in line with our HTML and you should actually never do that. I, I'm victim of it sometimes, I'm guilty of it because sometimes I'm just too lazy to put in the style sheet. I just go right into the HTML, do a quick and dirty fix and I just leave it and in the future I end up finding that and regretting doing that, but I do it anyway. So what I want you to do is be a better person and put the CSS styles into a style block or a style sheet. And all you have to do to do that is you take the instructions between the open and close quotes, you create a CSS selector, which I've already created here for box number two, which is the green box. We paste that uh, in those instructions in there. Just gonna delete the style tag from the HTML. And then we save this file and nothing will change because those are the exact same instructions presented two different ways. One was inline, one is in the CSS style block. And this is much better, much easier to maintain and just all around cleaner. If you need a refresher on creating these style blocks and CSS rules, please check out the links below in, in the description where I link to CSS videos that I've done that show you how to do CSS in this format and really clean up your website code. And that's all there is to applying padding left. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appeared on the right hand side so you can learn some more coding. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.